Hey guys, it's Steven here from RedmanPie.com. The iPhone dev team has just updated their jailbreak tool Red Snow to 9.10, which supports an untethered jailbreak on iOS 5.0.1. And that supports the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPad 1. So nothing for the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2 at the moment. So before you get started, you should make sure that your device is running on iOS 5.0.1. If you're an iPhone user who right now uses an Ultra Snow Unlock from Cydia, then you need to preserve your baseband so you can still continue to use it. So more details will be available in that in the description. And a friendly reminder to back up your stuff on iTunes or manually drag them out of your iPhone before you attempt to do this, just in case something happens, right? So now that you're ready for the jailbreak, you can go ahead and download Red Snow from the video description below or the article above. If you're running on Windows, it's a really good idea to right click on the .exe file and then click run as admin. Alright, so now let's open up Red Snow and we can uh, jailbreak our device. We're not going to be needing to use any extras options, so we can just go straight to clicking the jailbreak button. And then you'll need to enter DFU mode. So if you're not familiar with DFU mode, you basically uh, shut off your phone and then click next. And then you can follow all the on-screen instructions to enter DFU mode. So make sure your phone is fully powered off and then you can click next and begin to hold your power button and then hold your power and your home button for 10 seconds and then let go of your lock button and keep holding home button until it activates your DFU mode. So after waiting for a few seconds, you should have some options displayed for you to click on. So just leave it at that, just install Cydia and that's pretty much all you have to do. Now all these steps will be automatic. It'll download and jailbreak your phone by itself. So just be patient. If you didn't get into the DFU mode, which is a black screen, then you should um, try resetting your phone or restarting your phone by pressing the home and power button for 10 seconds and restart that process again. So just be patient and you have a jailbroken phone in a few minutes. This process should take less than maybe two minutes and you have Cydia installed and ready to run and you can turn on and off your phone just like normal. I'm just gonna fast forward this really quick cause the iPhone 4 is loading pretty slow after everyone's spoiled by the speed of 4s, uh, we've got to speed up a little bit. You can see that I'm turning it off and on with no problems, and Cydia is installed. And the last thing I just want to talk about the patch called Corona, which untethers your phone if you already had it jailbroken before. So before with the tether jailbreak, you know, once you turn off your phone, you have to use Just Boot just to turn it back on. So with Corona, it basically just reads jailbreaks your phone or patches your phone so you can have an untethered jailbreak right away. So that's it guys, that's how you can jailbreak your iOS 5.0.1 untethered on iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4, iPad 1, and the iPhone 3GS. Thanks for watching this video, if you like it, make sure you consider subscribing and maybe check out my other videos as well. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash itsteven. This is Steven from RedmanPal.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.